Welcome back to Jero Dynamics. Okay, so this one I'm going to try to keep brief. This is my um, intro to the con to the conversation about a national divorce, civil separation. Um, a lot of people have been calling it national divorce lately. I call it a civil separation. Um, whatever works, it's it's pretty much the same concept. So let's kind of talk about that. What is a national divorce or civil separation? Well, we'll start with what isn't a national divorce or civil separation. So uh, I did a video uh, a little couple days ago talking about uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and her bringing up the, uh, the conversation of a national divorce. And what she uh, presented was not a national divorce. Um, she called it that, I'm assuming, for attention, you know, kind of get herself out there. Um, but what she was talking about, and she actually even says it, is federalism, which is basically going back to a system where the states have most of the power and the national government, the national federal government, has very little power. Um, basically, how did the con basically, that's how the country... Um, you know, was founded. That's how it started out. And then slowly but surely more power started flowing to the federal government and away from the states. And so we, and then we've ended up here where we are today. Um, so she was saying, as far as a national divorce, we should go back to that. And basically, you know, what she called red states, Republican states, conservative states, whatever you want to call them, um, would be able to govern how they want to, and blue states would be able to govern how they want to, and, you know, the country wouldn't actually split, um, and basically the only um, thing that you have the federal government for is is for national defense and for if there's conflicts between the states to try to settle those conflicts when they're actual direct conflicts between the states. Um, and so that's kind of what she was calling for. Um, I agree with that. Um, I think that that would be great if we could get back there. Um, but I think that would be maybe even tougher than the actual national divorce um, to get us back, to roll it back without actually resetting the Constitution. Um, it would be very, very tough. Uh, not impossible, uh, and I definitely would encourage and support it, keep the nation together and be able to make it so that you have a country where, you know, states can operate as they see fit and people can move from state to state if they don't like the way their state is operating. Okay, so that's what, that is not a national divorce in my mind. Uh, that is not a civil separation. So another thing that it is not is a call for civil war. Um, just by talking about this concept, you are not calling for civil war. I don't want a civil war. Um, and no one that I know of that's talking about a national divorce or a civil separation is calling for a civil war. Um, the only people calling for civil wars are those who think that they could somehow, um, you know, have a civil war in response to a national divorce. But that's not accurate either because uh, a national, the other thing a national divorce, civil separation is not, is it's not a um, secession. It's not like what happened with the first civil war, hopefully the only civil war, um, where the South seceded from the United States, seceded away from the North uh, to form its own country. That's not what would be happening. And so I could see that being resulting in a civil war because you want to prevent the um, prevent states from seceding. I don't think you should, but it could. So I get that. But a national divorce is not that. It's not secession. Um, you don't just unilater unilaterally leave. Um, that's what secession is, is saying, I don't care what you think, we're leaving and we are going to uh, start our own country um, or we're going to reset the country back to the, uh, um, back to the original constitution and um, kicking you out, which is basically us seceding from you by kicking you out. Um, so, so I get that, but it's not. So you can't call for a civil war in response to a national divorce. Um, if you are calling for civil war, that's just you calling for civil war. Um, that's not us calling for civil war. That's you calling for civil war. But there's no need for that because a national divorce, 
a civil separation would be something that we would have to agree on as a country. Um, and for it to be constitutional, it would have to be done through the constitutional process, um, basically passing an amendment. So you would have to pass an amendment that would separate the country. Um, is that possible? It's possible. Is it likely? No, no. So let me put that in there right off the bat. This is very unlikely to happen. If it was to happen, it would be very difficult, um, but it is possible. So that's why we're talking about it because, you know, maybe we're to that point where this is the best option for us. Um, but I'm not sitting here telling you this is going to happen. So if you come in and you comment and you just say, well, it's just not going to happen, so it doesn't matter. That I'm already saying it's very unlikely to happen. But if you want to talk about the concept of it, that's what these videos are going to be. It's going to be a series of videos talking about how I think it could be done, um, why it should be done, um, and how we could move forward. Um, and so this video is basically just saying what it is and what it isn't. Um, I will move forward with, uh, with other videos, but uh, I want to keep this one brief. So if you have any questions, if you have any thoughts, feel free to comment, and I'll be talking to you later. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good day.